Hey Yogi, welcome to beautiful Sri Lanka. Today I have a very challenging and exciting class for you because we're in Sri Lanka. I thought we'd do the bird of paradise together. All you're going to need for today's class is a strap or a tea towel and maybe two blocks to support yourself. Grab everything you need and I meet you right back on your mat. Today's class in a child's pose, but we keep the knees together. You walk yourself forward, hands in front, and let your head rest on the mat. Just for a few breaths here to settle in, to collect the breath, maybe to set an intention. The bird of paradise is a very exotic pose, and maybe you will master it today or you will just try it and learn how to do it better next time whatever it is be grateful and mindful with yourself this is your practice and i invite you to adopt your practice or my guidance as it suits you best Press into your left hand, lift your left elbow and slide the right arm through to the left side so we come into a twist. Try to lay yourself down. Maybe you need to open your knees a little bit to come to lay down in this gentle twist at the beginning. Keep your left arm active and straight. Tune into your breathing here. Inhale is always lengthening. And with the exhale, soften your body to dive deeper into this twist. A few more breaths. And then slowly bring the right hand back. And we switch sides, so slide the left arm through, underneath. You need to be careful with the microphone. So you slide through, lay down, and stay here for three, two, and on one. Slowly bring your left hand back, straighten both in front of you. And with your inhale, come all the way up into your tabletop. Just for a second, adjust your stance here. Hands are beneath your shoulders, knees below the hips. Inhale, we're reaching our right hand up to the ceiling. And once again, we go for an even deeper twist. Slide our right arm through, thread a needle. Come to lay down on your right arm. Your left hand can come in front of you. Or if you like, bring your left arm around your back to the inside of your right hand for three, two, and on one, release the left hand, push yourself all the way up. One more time, reach the right hand up, follow your gaze, exhale, release, very good. Other side, inhale, left hand is reaching up. Thread the needle, left arm through, come to lay down on your left shoulder. Right hand is either in front or around your body to the inside of your left thigh. Stay here for three, two, and on one. Release the right hand to the floor. Push yourself up, reach your left arm to the ceiling. Follow with your gaze. And exhale, release all the way back down. Inhale, arch your back. Just two or three rounds of cat and cow. Arch the back and round your back. Inhale, press your heart forward. 
exhale to round your back and move freely so just a few breath here to come into tune into your body find all the areas where you feel a slight restriction and tightness move shoulders neck hands wrists everything and then back to neutral position tuck your toes and come all the way back up in your downward facing dog from your downward facing dog rise up onto the tippy toes and let one heel by the other melt into the mat start to walk your dog into fine movement at the same time find the alignment so hands are in shoulder distance feet are in hip distance head spine is in one line navel towards the spine to engage your core for three two and then one tippy toes and look forward and walk the feet in between your hands bend the knees if you need to come all the way forward inhale halfway lift exhale to fold inhale rise all the way up to standing exhale release the hands to your sides very good with your next inhale rise all the arms your arms up exhale hinge from the hips forward bend the knees we stay here use your blocks or just the fingertips bend your left knee a little bit more fingertips of the left hand to the floor or the flat palm rise your right hand up into this open twist for three two and on one release the right hand back down we switch sides bend the right leg deeply right into a block or to the floor open twist to the left inhale reach your left arm all the way up if you can follow the hand with your gaze inhale exhale release the hand back to the floor halfway lift hands to the shin bones exhale bend the knees high plank step back high plank we hold for three strong core two shoulder blades away from each other one lower the knees to the floor keep the engagement keep your back strong and long magnetize navel towards spine bend the elbows 90 degree half chaturanga lower all the way down untuck the toes press the back of the feet into the mat baby cobra inhale and then all the way up and back downward facing dog shorten the stance of your downward facing dog a little bit just a few inches all right come onto the tippy toes bend the knees like i do bouncy bouncy all right and then your right hand is reaching for your left upper thigh calf or here if you have it and you feel safe start to straighten your legs and come into this twisted downward facing dog for three two lengthening the right side body and on one release your right hand back to the front switching sides tippy toes bend your legs and now your left hand is reaching for the outside of your right upper thigh, calf or heel. When you feel safe, allow the heels to melt, straighten the legs and come into this twisted version for three, two and on one. Inhale, left hand back to the front, downward facing dog. Very good. Inhale. And exhale tippy toes come to the front of your mat so step or jump to the front one or two steps halfway lift exhale to fold inhale reach all the way up exhale hands to the sides inhale again arms up hinge forward all the way down halfway lift bend the knees fingertips to the floor in front of you 
lift your left foot and bring it all the way to the end of your mat. Lower down, lower your left knee down and come up into your low lunge. All right, arms up. With your exhale, bring the right hand in front of your right foot and we open to the left side. It's an open twist. Stay here. Lengthen forward and at the same time try to keep your left hip down. All right, it's not opening all the way up, we keep it down. All right. Bring your left hand back to the floor, frame your foot and come into your half split. This is very early in class, so use two blocks to support yourself, to lift yourself up or come into the fingertips. Right foot is active, lengthen the spine forward, engage your core for three, two, and on one, rebend the right foot. We step back, high plank, lower half or full chaturanga. In your back bend, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing dog. One breath here. And exhale. Tippy toes. We lift our right leg up to the ceiling. Inhale, again the right leg. Tippy toes, left foot. Right knee comes into your chest. Very good. We move it to our, we move it to the front, so you step in between your hands. Very good. Again, lower your left knee to the floor. This time, our right hand stand, stays where it is. You lift your left arm all the way up. Inhale, untuck your back toes. And then let this left hand guide you all the way up into a gentle back bend, lengthening the front side body. Inhale, exhale. We come back down, frame your foot, half split again, right side. We move a bit more dynamic, so forward and backwards. Forward and backwards. Try to straighten your front leg as much as you can. Keep the foot flexed. We stay in our half split. Maybe you need to adjust a little bit. Again, keep your right hand where it is, on a block or on fingertips, and try to open into this open twist. For three, two, and on one. Frame the foot, place the right foot, lift the back leg, and we step forward to meet our right foot. Halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Inhale, come all the way up to standing, reach up. Exhale, hands to the sides. Other side, uh, inhale, arms up. Exhale, hinge forward. Halfway lift, bend the knees, fingertips, our right foot. Steps all the way to the end of your mat. Lower your right knee to the floor. Hands all the way up to your left knee, just to find your alignment here. And then lower your left hand to the inside of your left foot. Keep the right hip forward. And then open up into this twist. Right hand is reaching up. Beautiful. Inhale. Exhale. Reframe your foot. Left hand to the outside. Half split. Use blocks or fingertips. Left leg is as straight as you can. Lengthen forward. Head, neck and spine in one line. Crowd of the head is reaching forward. Roll the shoulders back and fold. One breath. Ooh, exhale, re-bend the left foot. Frame the foot, high plank, step back. Lower chaturanga, baby chaturanga, full chaturanga. Into your back bend, inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. We stay with our left side. Inhale, left leg all the way up. Tippy toes, right foot. Left knee in between your chest. Hold. Step in between your hands. Lower your right knee to the floor. Your left hand stays where the left hand is right now. And we open into our open twist. Inhale, open here. 
untuck the back toes and allow the right hand to guide you all the way back into this gentle back bend opening of the front body side for three two and on one hands to the mat shift the hips back we are in our half split use blocks or fingertips you can stay here or use your left hand for support and we open again into our open twist keep the hips in one line keep the right hip forward as much as you can open here for three two and on one, release the right hand, re-bend the left foot and we step all the way to meet our left foot. Inhale, half a lift. Exhale. Inhale, all the way back up. And exhale, release. Very good. Big toes touching here slightly apart. Utkatasana, sit low. Inhale. Hands to your heart center. We twist to the right, left elbow to the right side, press the palms together, knees in one line, sit the bum a little bit lower. Inhale here. Exhale, look down. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Halfway lift, inhale. Bring the hands to the mat, bend the knees. High plank, chaturanga with or without knees. Back bend, inhale. Exhale into your downward facing dog. Very good. Inhale, right knee all the way up. Tippy toes, left foot, right knee to the outside of your right upper arm. Step next to your right hand. Lizard lunge. Stay here. Keep the back leg straight, hips in one line. Lower your left knee to the floor. And again here, find your open twist, inhale, all the way up. If you want, you can stay or you bring your left hand around. So just to the inside of your right thigh, I hope you can see. You stay here, open the chest, open your shoulder. Slowly release all the way back down and from here, we start to open and straighten the right leg. So it's more an open half split, a little bit more different than, than the one that we've done before. Very good. All right. Place the right foot back on the mat. And now bring the right hand beneath your right thigh. Place your right hand onto your bum or the back of your hand to your lower back. If you're here, you can bring your left hand around. Maybe you find the other hand or you use a strap when you're here. Untuck the back toes and maybe start to straighten your left, your right leg a little bit and come back. You can just hold onto the fingertips or even a strap. Straighten the right leg and rebend. One more, straighten and rebend. Release your bind, place the hands on the floor. Lift your left leg up and then flatten your back foot so it's parallel to the end of your mat. We come into side angle pose. Right hand is flat. If you need a block, use a block. Inhale, our left arm is drawing the circle, half circle. You can use as many circles as you like, just to turn into, tune into your rotator cuff, so your muscles are warm. Very good. Inhale, the left hand brings you all the way up into your warrior two. Find your alignment here. Front leg is bent. All right, deep inhale, exhale, straighten your front leg, bring your back foot a little bit closer. Uttita Trikonasana, lean forward, triangle pose, right hand to your shin bone or to the floor. Inhale, left hand is reaching all the way up. 
you can look into the upper palm, to the sky. Exhale, look down for balance. Internally rotate your arm and bring the back of your palm to your lower back. You can even slide it down to the inside of your right thigh. Open here, open your chest. Inhale. Exhale, look down, release your arm, left arm up, and then let this arm guide you back up into your warrior two. Well done, hands to the floor, step back, high plank, lower with control, chaturanga, upward facing, exhale, downward facing dog. Very, very good. All right, inhale, left leg all the way up to the ceiling tippy toes right foot left knee steps to the outside of your left hand place it next to your left hand we stay in our lizard lunge just for a moment you can shift the weight forwards and back keep the right leg straight hips in one line for three two and on one lower the right knee to the floor very good Leave the left hand very close to your left foot and start to open your right arm again. Open twist. If you want, you can bring your right arm around just to the inside of your left thigh. Open your chest to the ceiling. And then slowly release this arm. Back to the floor, we start to straighten and bend our left leg. So it's our half split. Bend and straighten, move forwards. It's a little bit more open, so it's not the classic half split. It's more an open hip half split. All right, one more time. Rebend the left leg, place the foot. From here, your left hand can come all the way down and through. You can bring it to your lower back. And if you feel good and comfortable, bring the right arm around. Maybe you find your fingertips or you use a strap. Stay here, open the chest to the ceiling or gently start to straighten and to rebend your left leg. Straighten and rebend. Always use a strap to make it a little bit more easier. Last time, straighten and rebend. Release the arms, frame, don't frame the foot, <laughs> bring the hands to the mat and you step back, high plank. With control, lower chaturanga in your upward facing and your downward facing dog. Release the hands back down. Your left hand is in front of your left foot and you lift your back leg up. Place your back foot parallel to the end of the mat. So we are in a warrior two stance almost. Left hand is pressing into the mat or use a block to support yourself. And then your right hand is drawing the circle maybe a few more times like a helicopter and you find side angle pose. Deep inhale, exhale. Allow the right hand to bring you all the way up into your warrior two stance. From your warrior two, straighten the front leg, heel toe the back foot closer, left hand is guiding the way forward, triangle shape. Left hand to your shin bone to a block on fingertips. Right hand all the way up. If you feel safe and comfortable, allow your right hand to internally rotate and bring your right fingers to the inside of your left thigh. Open your chest to the ceiling. One more deep inhale. Exhale, look down. Release your arms 
and the right hand is helping you all the way up. Bend the front leg and come up. Warrior two. Very good. Hands to the floor, frame the foot, step back, high plank. Chaturanga. In your upward facing dog, roll the shoulders back, downward facing dog. Well done, yogi. So we're almost there. Take one more deep inhale and a deep exhale. Very good. Inhale with your next inhale, right leg all the way up. Tippy toes, left foot, right knee comes into your chest. Step forward in between your hands. Very good. High lunge, reach all the way up. Open into your warrior two stance. Arms are long. Your right hand is coming to the floor for side angle or into a block. Left hand is drawing the circle. You can stay here. Option two, left hand around your back. Press into your right foot so your right hand can come from the inside for the bind. Take the bind here again, open to the sky. Look down for balance. And then step the left foot to the front to meet the right. When you're here, you can try to straighten one or both legs, opening the shoulders. When you're good, when you're still good, I turn to you so I can face you. Shift the weight onto your left foot and pick up your right foot all the way up. Whew. Press your right thigh into your right shoulder. Stay here. Use a strap if you need to. If you want, you can start to straighten your right leg. With control, come all the way back down. I'm again changing my position. And then step back, release the bind. Circle the left arm a few times. And then Hands back to the floor, frame your foot, high plank, chaturanga in your upward facing, flush it out, downward facing dog. Very good. Breathe in and breathe out. Straight into the other side. Inhale, left leg all the way up. Tippy toes, right foot. Left knee into your chest, step forward in between your hands. High lunge, come up all the way. And we open into warrior two. From your warrior two side angle pose, use a block. Left hand to the floor or to a block. Right hand is drawing the circle. Right hand comes behind your back. Use a strap if you need to. Bring weight into the left foot. Left arm is sliding through. I would use a strap or you hold on to fingers or to the wrist. Step the right foot to meet the left foot <laughs> without losing the balance. And then you're here to straighten or bend the legs. Open the chest. When you feel good and comfortable, I turn to you so you can face me. Shift the weight into the right foot and pick up your left foot. Slowly with control. Stay here. Press your left shoulder into your left upper thigh. And when you're good, you can try to straighten your left leg. With control, bring the left foot back down. Slowly, slowly. I'm coming back. <laughs> Stepping back into your side angle pose, release the bind, circle the right hand just a few times and then frame your foot and flush it out. Well done yogi, use this movement to recenter and refocus. Three, two breath here. Very good. Bring the knees to the floor. And sit all the way 
back onto your hips. Oh, that was tough, wasn't it? So I hope you all had like a really good, at least a bird. Maybe it was not the bird of paradise, but it was a bird. Uh, recollect your hands. Right hand is on the bottom, left hand on top, thumbs are touching. Recenter your breath. Allow your breath to calm the heart rate down. Find stillness. Calm your thoughts. And give space to the feeling of gratitude for this practice. Even if it was challenging, maybe too challenging. You did your best, you did your practice. And be proud that you know how to adjust your own practice. Deep inhale. Open mouth, exhale. From here, slowly sit back onto your bum. Straighten the legs forward. Very good. We open our legs into Baddha Konasana. I hope you can see me. Bring the feet together, so open the soles of your feet. Gentle hip opening. Lengthen the spine forward. Bring the elbows into your calves and lean forward. Shoulders back and down. Crown of the head is reaching forward. One last breath. Slowly sit upright. Bring the knees together and straighten them all the way out. Hands to the front. Come all the way to lay down on your back. Very good. Bring the heels in closer so you can grace the heels of your feet. Arms next to your body. Bridge pose, baby Stato Bandhasana. Press the hips all the way up with your exhale. Roll onto the shoulders a little bit more so you can press the hips all the way up even higher. Stay here for five, four, three, two, and on one. Lower the hips all the way down. Let the knees drop into each other. Maybe you want to move the legs from side to side. Feel free to do so. Allow the body to calm down, to cool down. Draw the knees into your chest, hug yourself firmly, knees into the chest, shoulders are resting on the mat, close your eyes and move with your body. Deep inhale, open mouth, exhale. Find Shavasana on your mat. Straighten the legs into the corners of your mat, arms to the side. Any adjustment you need to do to take, feel free. And once you're settled in, let the palms face the sky, roll the shoulders down. Relax your head, the muscles in your face, in between your eyebrows and your jaw. Let go of the controlled breath by inhaling very deeply. Exhaling through the mouth.
like a balloon. We're just losing all the air. Inhale. Exhale. Stay here, relaxed and calm. I tell you when it's time to come out. Bring your breath back and your awareness. Bring your mind back from its travels. Start to move your toes and your fingers. Circle hands and wrists. Wake up your body. Inhale deeply, full body stretch. Exhale, roll over to one side. Use your hand to push yourself all the way up. Find a seat on your mat. Sit upright. Bring the hands in front of your chest just for a moment. Honor your practice. Honor yourself. Deep inhale. Exhale. Thank you so much for allowing me to guide you through this practice. You all are wonderful birds of paradise. I hope to see you in the next class. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any new videos. Love to see you next time. Namaste.